Welcome to the fifth lecture in general topology. The topics that we'll explore in this lecture include the isolated points of an entire space, an introduction to connectedness, and an introduction to separation conditions. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do today is to broaden uh, our concept of a uh, complement. So we'll start with the definition. So let A and B be sets such that A is not contained in B. The relative complement of A in B is the set which we denote the same way as a true or absolute complement. And this is the set of all those points in the set B, which are not in the set A. That is, the relative complement in a, uh, of A in B is the absolute complement of the intersection of A and B in the set B, since the intersection of A and B is a subset of the set B. So let me state that in words. If A is not contained in B, the relative complement of the set A in the set B is the absolute complement of the intersection of A and B in the set B. All right, so next we will prove as a theorem uh, one of the exercises that was set in the last lecture. So let the set X together with some topology tau be a topological space. and let A be a subset of the space X. A point X in the space X is a cluster point of the set A, if and only if, for every deleted neighborhood u set minus the singleton containing x of the point x. We have that the intersection of that deleted neighborhood of x with the set A is not empty. So proof. Suppose that the point x is a cluster point of the set A. Then, for every open neighborhood, u of x, we have that the intersection of that neighborhood with the complement of the singleton containing the point x in the set A is not empty. And so there exists at least one point Y, which is distinct from the point X and the space X, such that this point Y is in the intersection of the set U with the complement of the singleton containing X in the set A. That is, the point Y is in the set U, and the point Y is in the complement of the singleton containing X in the point A. So as the point Y is in this complement, and this complement is a subset of the entire set A, the point Y is in the set A, 
And as the point Y is distinct from the point X, point Y is in the complement of the singleton containing X in the set U. Now notice that this is now a, de a deleted neighborhood of the point X. And so this point Y is in the intersection of the, the deleted neighborhood of the point X with the set A. And hence, this intersection is not empty. And so for every deleted neighborhood, you set minus the singleton containing x of the point x. The intersection of this deleted neighborhood with the set A is not empty. So conversely, suppose that for every deleted neighborhood, You set minus the singleton containing x of the point x. We have that the intersection of this deleted neighborhood with the set A is not empty. Then, once again, there exists at least one point y distinct from the point x in the space x, such that this point y is in the intersection. That is, the point Y is in the deleted neighborhood of the point X, and the point Y is in the set A. Now, as the point Y is in the deleted neighborhood of the point X, and the deleted neighborhood of the point X is a subset of the open neighborhood of the point X, we have that the point Y is in this open neighborhood of the point X. And as the point Y is distinct from the point X, the point Y is in the complement of the singleton containing the point X in the set A. And so the point Y is in the intersection of the uh, na open neighborhood of the point X with the complement of the singleton containing X in the set A. And hence this intersection is not empty. That is, for every open neighborhood, U of x, we have that the intersection of that neighborhood with the complement of the singleton containing the point x in the set A is not empty. And hence, the point x is a cluster point of the set A. All right. So next we will uh, look at the example or uh, look at the exercise, one of the other exercises that was set in the last uh, lecture. Let tau sub e be the set containing the union of the set containing the entire set of reals together with all subsets of the set of reals such that the point zero or the number zero is not in that subset and we will consider the uh, interval from A to B inclusive of A and B where A is strictly greater than zero. So this is an open subset in this topology. So notice that uh, any set that contains uh, any subset that contains 
The number zero is closed. And so the only open neighborhood of the number zero is the entire space of reals. And clearly, the complement of the singleton containing the uh, number zero in the set of reals, that is, the, de the deleted neighborhood of the point zero intersected with the interval from A to B, inclusive of A and B, is not empty. And hence, the number zero is a cluster point of the interval from A to B, inclusive of A and B. Now notice that for every point, R distinct from the number zero, or we can simply say for every point R in the interval from A to B, the singleton set containing that number R is an open neighborhood of the point R such that the intersection of this neighborhood with the interval from A to B is the singleton containing the point R. And so we have that every point R in the interval from A to B is an isolated point. of the interval from A to B. So the derived set of the interval from A to B is the set which contains the number zero. The closure of this interval from A to B is the union of the interval from A to B with the singleton containing zero. So notice that in this case The boundary of the interval from A to B is the same as the derived set which is the singleton containing the number zero. All right, so now we're going to look at the isolated points of an entire space. So we'll start with the uh, indiscrete topology. So let the cardinality of the set X be greater than or equal to 2. And let tau sub I be the set containing the empty set and the entire set. So again, we have the indiscrete or trivial topology on the uh, set X. Notice that for every point in the space, the only open neighborhood of the point X is the entire space and as the cardinality of X is greater than or equal to 2 the complement of the singleton containing the point X in the entire space X is not empty and so the intersection of the complement of the singleton containing the point X in the space X with the entire space X is not empty. And hence, every point
in the SpaceX is a cluster point. of the SpaceX and so there are no isolated points of the SpaceX. Alright, so next we'll look at the particular point topology. So once again let the cardinality of the set X be greater than or equal to 2 and let tau sub p be the intersection of the set which contains the empty set together with all subsets of the set x such that some point p, some specified point p is in the set u, then this is the particular point topology on the uh, set x together uh, with uh, p the uh, particular point. So notice that the singleton containing the point p is an open neighborhood of the point P such that the intersection of this neighborhood with the entire space is the singleton containing the point P and so the particular point is an isolated point of the SpaceX. Now let the point X be distinct from the point P and let this be a point in the space X. Now uh, such a point does exist as the cardinality of the set is greater than or equal to 2 so there is at least one uh, point distinct from the particular point. Notice that every open neighborhood of the point X contains the point P and so the point P is in the complement of the singleton containing the point X in the set U that is the point P is in the deleted neighborhood of the point X. And hence the intersection of the deleted neighborhood of the point X together with the entire space is not empty. And so every point X which is distinct from the specified particular point in the space X is a cluster point. Of the space X. Alright so next we will look at the excluded point topology. Once again let the cardinality of the set X be greater than or equal to 2 and let tau sub E be the union of the uh, set which contains the entire set together with all subsets of the set X such that the point P is not in the set, set U or in that subset then uh, this is the excluded point topology on the uh, set X so notice that the only open neighborhood of the point P is the entire space and so the complement of the singleton containing the point P in the space X is not empty since once again there, uh, the cardinality of the set is greater than or equal to 2 so there must exist at least one point distinct from the point P and hence the particular point is a cluster point
or rather the excluded point is a cluster point of the SpaceX. Now let the point X be distinct from the point P and let this be a point in the space X. Once again, such a point does exist uh, as there must be at least one point in the space that is distinct from the uh, point P. Notice that the singleton containing this point is an open neighborhood. of the point X such that the intersection of this neighborhood with the entire space is the singleton containing the point X and so every point X which is distinct from the excluded point in the space X is an isolated point of the SpaceX.